Is it the right time to buy or sell Fubo TV stock? In this video, we will delve deeper into Fubo TV. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, November 21, 2023, and now we are here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and enable notifications to stay updated with our latest analysis. You don't want to miss out on any important updates that could affect your investments. Improve your trading decisions by trying out our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4, at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of artificial intelligence and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of November 2, 2023, our system has identified Fubo TV as a strong investment opportunity, earning a score of 1.29. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance during this time period. If you had followed our analysis and invested in Fubo TV 14 days ago, you would have experienced an impressive gain of 13.87%. This translates to an average daily return of 0.99% since we recommended Fubo TV as a buy candidate. The stock we're looking at is currently in a strong upward trend. This presents a potential opportunity for short-term traders to sell, as we can expect a reaction back towards the lower part of the trend. However, if the stock breaks through the top trend line at $3.27, it may indicate an even stronger upward movement. Looking at the three-month trend, there is a potential 14.76% change expected over the next three months. This means there is a possible return between minus 13.14% and 20.15%. When considering the 12-month trend, there is a projected 26.51% change over the next year. This suggests a potential return between minus 37.20% and 46.47%. In terms of price, this would mean a range of $1.96 to $4.57 after one year. Our latest update on Fubo TV reveals that the evaluation of Fubo TV stock has been downgraded after the last trading session. On the last day, which was Tuesday, November 21, 2023, the Fubo TV stock price experienced a decline of 4.29%, dropping from $3.26 to $3.12. Throughout the day, the stock fluctuated by 7.28%, ranging from a low of $3.02 to a high of $3.24. Although the price has fallen in 6 out of the last 10 days, it has still managed to rise by 2.63% over the past 2 weeks. It's worth noting that the trading volume decreased along with the stock, which is generally considered a positive indication, as volume tends to follow the stock. Specifically, on the last day, the trading volume declined by 6 million shares, with a total of 10 million shares being bought and sold, amounting to approximately $30.14 million. Looking at the past 52 weeks, we observe that the highest stock price reached $3.87, while the lowest price was $0.96. Cents. At present, the price is 19.38% or $0.750 below the 52-week high, and 94.99% or $59.17 below the all-time high on December 22, 2020, when the price reached $62.29. Analyst Ratings On Friday, March 31, 2023, Needham gave Fubo a buy grade with a hold action. On Wednesday, October 19, 2022, Needham gave Fubo a buy grade with a hold action. On Friday, September 23, 2022, Wedbush gave Fubo an outperform grade with an upgrade action. On Wednesday, August 17, 2022, Wedbush gave Fubo a neutral grade with a downgrade action. On Monday, May 9, 2022, Wedbush gave Fubo an outperform grade with an upgrade action. Analysts have given Fubo TV stock a general neutral rating. They consider the P.E. ratio to be favorable, suggesting a buy rating, and the price-to-book ratio is also seen as a buy. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts give the stock a less favorable sell rating. 
Today, let's take a closer look at the signals for Fubo TV stock. The Fubo TV stock has recently shown positive buy signals from both short and long term moving averages, indicating a favorable forecast for the stock. Additionally, there is a general buy signal observed from the relationship between these two signals, with the short term average positioned above the long term average. In case of downward corrections, there is expected support at $2.99 and $2.62. However, if the stock breaks below these levels, sell signals may be triggered. It's worth noting that a buy signal has also been identified from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. However, there have been some negative signals as well, which might impact the stock's short-term development. Specifically, a sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Monday, November 20, 2023, resulting in a decline of minus 4.29% so far. Until a new bottom pivot is found, further fall is anticipated. On the last trading day, the volume of trades decreased alongside the price, which reduces the overall risk as volume tends to follow price movements. Here are some other signals that you might find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence indicator has given a buy signal. The pivots indicator gave a sell signal two days ago. The Bollinger indicator provided a buy signal 13 days ago. The short-term moving average gave a buy signal seven days ago. The long-term moving average also gave a buy signal 15 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages resulted in a buy signal 14 days ago. Now, let's take a look at the 12-month chart. The short moving average gave a sell signal 8 days ago. The long-term moving average provided a buy signal 15 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages resulted in a buy signal 13 days ago. If you want to find more signals, remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Today, we'll be discussing support, risk, and stop loss for Fubo TV. Fubo TV currently has support from accumulated volume at $3. This means that when the stock's price reaches this level, there is a potential buying opportunity as we can expect an upward reaction. However, it's important to note that this stock is considered to be high risk due to its volatility. The Bollinger Band indicates a large prediction interval, further emphasizing the risk involved. In terms of recent price movements, Fubo TV has shown significant volatility. Just in the last day, the stock moved $0.220 between its high and low points, which is equivalent to a 7.28% change. Over the past week, the daily average volatility has been 6.91%. Before we explore potential trading levels for Fubo TV, let's quickly go over some essential fundamental data. First, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This important ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio indicates that the company either has negative earnings or is currently losing money. It's not uncommon for established companies to face periods of decline, often due to external factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P-E ratios could be a sign of insufficient profit and potential bankruptcy risks. Moving on to other news, the next earnings report for Q4 2023 is scheduled for February 26, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates currently stand at $0.260. It's important to keep an eye on these numbers, as they can significantly impact stock prices. Let's dive into some potential day trading levels for Fubo TV. If we see an upward trend, the first resistance level for Fubo TV is at $3.18. If you don't own any shares, it might be a good idea to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those who are already holding the stock, this could be a level worth considering for swing trading. On the downside, Fubo TV encounters its first support level at $3. If this support level holds, it could present a promising entry point, with the possibility of a rebound. The average rating for Fubo TV, according to multiple analyst sources, is neutral. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. On June 15, 2023, Figueres Ignacio made an insider purchase of 66,061 shares of common stock. Also on June 15, 2023, 
Figueres Ignacio purchased 130,136 shares of restricted stock units. On the same date, Figueres Ignacio sold 66,061 shares of restricted stock units. Furthermore, on June 15, 2023, Left Daniel V bought 66,061 shares of common stock. Additionally, Left Daniel V acquired 130,136 shares of restricted stock units on June 15, 2023. Considering the 100 most recent insider trades, our analysis reveals a positive insider power ratio of 43.208. Overall, Insiders have bought 15,192,487 shares and sold 3,038,158 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss for this stock is $2.95, which represents a decrease of 5.31%. This particular stock experiences significant daily movements, which introduces a higher level of risk. Additionally, a sell signal was identified from a pivot top just one day ago. Is Fubo TV stock worth considering as an investment? Based on our analysis, there are several positive short-term signals and an overall positive trend, suggesting that Fubo TV stock may present a buying opportunity. However, we have slightly adjusted our conclusion from a strong buy to a buy candidate due to some minor weaknesses in the technical picture. Furthermore, our systems indicate that the current price of Fubo TV stock is undervalued, based on the volatility and movements observed during the last trading day. Looking ahead to Wednesday, November 22, we anticipate that Fubo TV stock will open with a small increase of $0.0067, starting the trading day at $3.13. Before we dive into the world of trading, it's crucial to remember that it comes with a high risk of losing money. We strongly recommend consulting a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. Please be aware that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and assume responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we'll be discussing our current view of the stock. We want to hear your thoughts too so don't forget to comment below and share your opinions. What is your target for the stock? We'd love to know. And if you enjoy this content, remember to like and subscribe. We're here to support your trading journey and wish you a successful day ahead. With warm regards from all of us at Stock Invest.